All right, I want to welcome everyone to our session here uh, this evening. And I think this is this is one of the first times I'm doing a, a session uh, in the evening. Normally, it's like during uh, you know business hours. So I want to I want to thank everyone for uh, being here uh, together with me this evening. I see some familiar faces. If I can ask you a favor, um, while I'm clearing out a couple things on my other screen, if I can ask you a favor in the chat. Um, you know, you'll have your name there. So just let me know what is the product or service that you are selling. And maybe I, I think we have people from one or two different countries. Maybe, maybe <coughs> just put in your name. Um, what is the product or service that you're selling and where you're from? If you can do that for me while I get uh, everything set up. And while you're doing that, uh, I'll get the recording started as well because everybody will re will receive um, a recording of this session. I'll get it sent out to you. Give me give me 24 hours and I'll get it sent out to you. It'll be, it'll be sent out to you as a YouTube link. Uh, it'll be sent out to you as a YouTube link uh, so that you can fast forward, replay, uh, skip through the boring parts, um, and uh, rewind and listen to the interesting parts again. Uh, there's uh, somebody here. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm so sorry. I know it's uh, Batista. Uh, is it? Ju I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, is there any way you can help me pronounce your name? Uh, Jiao? Jiao? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't want to butcher your name. Maybe you can uh, uh, unmute yourself real quick. And, uh, you know, just shout out your name. And I think we, we would love to learn how to pronounce your name as well if that be okay if if you have a microphone okay if not that's fine okay uh, so yes. so my name is spelled uh spelled uh, not spelled uh pronounced like João. João, is that yeah. right yeah uh let's see colombian no portuguese portuguese okay apologies on that all right well welcome no João. Did I pronounce it correctly, Joao? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. So, <clears throat> as I said, we are recording this. I see uh, we have a whole bunch of uh, professionals. Uh, oh, self-esteem. Okay, great, okay, uh, awesome. Uh, and you mentioned there that I can refer to you as J-O. Okay, awesome. Uh, Yan Tourism from Langkawi, Real Estate Philippines. Maria, right? Is that Maria? And uh, Anne, Anne C. Buckthorn and uh, Essential Oils. Welcome, welcome everyone. Anne, it's good to uh, have you on uh, a session again. Ten, uh, ten uh, life insurance. Okay, so uh, let's get started uh, this evening. If anyone has attended, I think we did uh, a session similar to this. Uh, Sudiv, wh where, uh, what is your product? Did you mention um, the, the product uh, that you are selling? Okay, maybe you can help me do that. Okay, uh, while I get the screen ready. Um, hi, hi, I, Chris. Hi, Sudev. Sudev. Yes. Okay, uh, well, basically, I am in the uh, HR industry, but what we actually okay. do is... We won't hold that against you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, there, there's a twist to it, uh, because like, what we are actually doing is we are actually uh, 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 promoting a HR risk management solution for employers. Uh, okay. which actually comes with the education, the advisory, and as well as the protection, which is in the form of an insurance for companies. Okay, you know? awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's what we do. Okay, awesome. And uh, I, I would assume that uh, most of us have attended webinars, uh, or as I like to call it, pitch sessions, right? And most of the, the webinars, um, and, and I'll introduce myself in a little bit, okay? But most of the webinars, I, I attend two or three uh you know, of those kinds of webinars, because I like to see what, uh, you know, everybody's kind of doing, right? And, you know, one of the one of the things that really irritates me is when they spend uh, half an hour, 45 minutes pitching their product. And uh, I'll, I'll intro everything in, in just a couple minutes. And you'll notice that we are actually doing a Zoom meeting style rather than a Zoom webinar style. Um, it's a little bit more intimate this way, you know, with, uh, you know, uh, we can interact with each other. Uh, you can call you can call me you can uh, say BS you know on anything that I'm saying all right so that's the risk that I take okay um, but I prefer it that way uh, we also didn't didn't do uh, like any paid promotion uh, for this session we had 
uh, if I recall, we had about 46 uh, registrations. Uh, we may have a few people coming in uh, in a few minutes. I don't know, and I don't care. It doesn't matter. We're going to start on time, okay? Because I always start on time. For those that know me, I always, always start on time, all right? So give me just a quick sec, and I'll get our slides ready. Okay, just do me a favor. If you can see, if you can see the slides, uh, you know, just raise your hand, give me a wave, uh, or just type uh, yes in the chat for me, just so I know, just so I know uh, that we can see it. Yes, we can see the, we can see. Okay, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's do the official welcome. Uh, good evening, everyone, and uh, I want to welcome everyone to our online workshop session uh, this evening. Uh, I. Unless I'm seriously mistaken, uh, I believe this is one of the first ones that I've done, uh, that I've hosted in the evening, all right? Uh, and uh, J.O., I know that uh, you're in, uh, now, you're from Portugal. Uh, are you in Portugal right now? Uh, you can answer that in the chat. Um, I would believe that you're mourning right now, uh, unless I'm mistaken, okay? So, uh, our topic tonight is, you know, I, I'm not going to read out the slide. You can see it. Uh, start of the afternoon. Okay, awesome. So um, you can see it on the screen, and that's why you're here uh, this evening because you want to find out uh, how can I take my my social media uh, and turn it into a lead generation process and turn it uh, into a system where um, you know I can get I can get leads, I can get prospects, and I can I can turn them into into clients, into revenue, into sales. Right now. I'm sure you know that social media can be one of the uh, one of the best ways to get leads, prospects, and clients. You've you, I, you, you've definitely heard this before, and maybe you've tried to do this, right? Um, maybe the results were okay. Uh, maybe the results were not that encouraging, okay? Uh, and then you tell yourself, "Hey, you know what? This doesn't work." Maybe, you know what? Maybe you missed a step, or you did something in the wrong order, or you got something out of place. Now, let me ask you this question, okay? Uh, might it possibly make a difference in your business and your profession when you can develop a proven system that is able to generate leads and you get those leads and you qualify them and you convert them in a semi-automatic process? It's not automatic. It's semi-automatic. You know, you often hear the gurus say, right, oh, it's autopilot, make money while you sleep, it's hands-off, automatic, all that stuff, right? Think about it. If it really was automatic, but we still see them, you know, doing seminars and workshops and, 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 you know, online sessions, you know, every few weeks or every few months. Okay. And I'm so sorry to tell you this, it doesn't exist. And if they tell you that, if they tell you it's automatic, hands off, and you can relax and make money in your sleep, then you need to turn in the opposite direction from them. Because one of the things I found is that it takes work, it takes effort, and it takes a certain level of skill. And this is something I work on every day, uh, and I have been since about 2005. Um, I started going online right about 2004, 2005. I think I was on Facebook in 2004, maybe 2003, 2004. Before, before that was like MySpace. Um, I heard of Friendster. If anyone has heard of Friendster, I wasn't on it, okay? So I've been online uh, since about 2005. And comparing today versus, you know, 15, 16 years ago, it's very different. Um, and we all say that, oh, I want to go viral, right? Um, in fairness, I've never had anything that I do go viral because my strategy is very targeted, specific, and laser focused. Okay. Uh, would I like to go viral? Hey, you know what? Who wouldn't want to go viral, right? But I am proof that you don't need to go viral to be uh, extremely successful. So. Uh, we're going to get on with this right now, okay? So I'm going to make you a promise. You don't need to believe everything you hear from me. You don't need to say to yourself, I like and trust Chris. I'm going to prove everything that I share with you today, and I think that's fair. If you think that's fair, uh, then we'll move on, and I'll, and I'll uh, continue with the, uh, our discussion this evening. If you think that's not fair, you know what? Wherever you are is a free country. Nobody's feelings will get hurt if you, if you choose to leave, all right? 
Okay, so one of the first questions I want to address is, is this session going to be worth my time? Okay, well, here's my focus. I'm going to share relevant, timely, and valuable information with you. I'm not going to try and sell you uh, <coughs> a, um, a useless uh, two-day course, okay? I'm not going to ask you to find products to sell online or create, you know, like uh, an automatic uh, sales funnel or become an affiliate of products because each one of you already has a product that you want to sell or a service that you want to sell. I'm also not going to tell you that I'm making hundreds a day in online uh, sales with a couple of digital products. E even though I am, I, ha I have a few products that um, that I, I this is not my focus tonight, but I do have a couple of products that are 100% uh, online and automatic. And I just know that, you know, when money comes in and everything gets delivered digitally and automatically, all right? Um, but that's not our focus tonight, all right? This is not the session for that. Uh, what I what I will show you is the system process uh, or, <clears throat> excuse me, or the funnel components that I use uh, and I set up for my clients uh, in order for them to generate leads, uh, quality prospects, build a relationship and turn them into clients uh, and turn them into revenue uh, using both online and offline techniques. Some of it might be a little technical. And I'll do my best to explain it because some people think I'm a techie or a nerd, right? But I can assure you that I, I am not. So um, I respect your time and effort in being here uh, with us on this session. And my first promise to you is that I will not waste your time. I will, I, you know, I promise to share relevant, uh, timely and valuable information on this session. Um, we are also recording this session. Uh, and I'll get it sent out to you within 24 hours as a YouTube link so you can replay, fast forward, and rewind the parts that you want to hear and watch again. Um, these sessions, every single one of my sessions are not a pitch fest. Uh, there's no hard selling, and there's no getting you to buy anything at an unreasonable or inflated price. Now, um, I may offer products and services and explain them, but on this session, on this session I'm going to take five minutes to, to make you an offer. Uh, but there is no there is no obligation for you to take me up on that. All right, and I'll explain how that how that works out. Uh, you know, closer to the end of our session. Okay, so here's what I'm going to share with you today: uh, how to prepare your sales funnel, uh, the three main components of your sales funnel, and then how do you take that and combine you know the online and the offline, and make it into a proper sales system that will generate leads, whatever, I mean, regardless of your industry, regardless of your language, regardless of your culture, um, regardless of your product and, or, or service, it could be business to business, it could be um, a business to consumer, uh, might have some challenges with business to government, but you know, uh, it, it's certainly doable, all right? So who is this for? Um, if you're in one of the categories uh, in white, perfect. Um, if you're not in one of the categories in white, okay, uh, basically this is for anyone with a product and service and needs to sell and needs to sell more. So I, I, I've set up this system for uh, business to business, for business to consumer, uh, single uh, professionals uh, like property agents, insurance, coaches, trainers, uh, industrial products. Uh, companies selling one single product, uh, companies selling a range of products, network marketers uh, in several different countries. And each one is unique. And each, uh, you know, when we, when we get it set up for them, it's customized specifically for them and getting results. All right. Um, in the last 30 days, uh, in the last 30 days, I've personally closed 18 deals. Uh, personally, all right, with an average revenue of about US uh, 900, roughly about uh, ringgit 4,000 or about 45,000 pesos, roughly. 70% of the deals uh, originated online or from digital or social media sources. And this is because we have leads, inquiries, and prospects every single day, all right? Uh, I'm on the phone and I'm talking to clients every single day as well. Now, maybe my business is a little bit different, um, but we do this for dozens of different kinds of companies in different industries 
And right now with this particular uh, uh, format that I'm going to share with you on tonight's uh, session, uh, we do it for uh, companies and individuals from six different countries. So I know it works for me. Uh, I know it works for our clients. And quite possibly, quite possibly, if it's set up right, it's going to work for you. And I'm going to share with you uh, exactly how we do it. Okay. Uh, the first thing that I'll say is if you're not online, okay? Now, I have to clarify that uh, when I say go online, I don't mean, I mean, everybody has a Facebook page, right? Uh, when I'm not saying that, hey, you know what? If you have a Facebook page, that's enough. I'm telling you that a Facebook, your Facebook uh, profile, sorry, like personal, uh, your personal Facebook page, it's, it's not enough. You have to have more, uh, something more than your, uh, personal Facebook uh, profile. Now, if you're not online, get online now. You don't have to be great. You just have to start. And, you know, that's a problem uh, with so many people. They, they're, they're afraid, right? Uh, they have this fear. Uh, <clears throat> they have this fear of, uh, you know, going online and, 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 you know, putting themselves out there. You know, they have a fear of uh, uh, failure. They have a fear of embarrassment. They have a fear of uh, looking stupid. I, I had this problem myself, uh, you know, back in 2007, 2008. Um, we started doing uh, videos in 2007. And I mean, I, it, it, took me, it took me so much effort to get my first video done. And I found this first video um, a couple months ago. Thank goodness it's not online anymore, right? I found this video in, in one of my hard drives, right? Um, and I looked at it and I go, oh my God, you know, that was like 13, 14 years ago. I look absolutely terrible. But you know what? It generated results, okay? And if, if, we, if we think that, oh, I'm going to look stupid, I'm going to look, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be embarrassing. You know what? Just get it done, all right? Um, it's hard uh nowadays right it's hard uh to not feel stuck and battered and confused you know during these uncertain times um and i i sometimes get what my my clients are are saying because sometimes i feel the same way but you you need to understand one thing okay the one thing that we need to remember in the end nobody remembers failures nobody remembers failures because um failing is not the end, right? Failing and getting up and trying again and doing it a little bit better this time around is better than failing and stopping. When you when you fail and you learn and you do it over, okay, it's a lot better than failing and stopping. And that's called being a quitter. Okay, now, if you're already online, then you need to get better at it and you need to get it done right. Okay, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, I, I, I've been online since 2005. Okay, and everything that I've done was trial and error uh, in the beginning, but I also learned from uh, other experts and I took it and I applied it. All right, and I'm always thinking, how can I, how can I get this done? How can I get this done better? How can I do this so that we can make a little bit more using a little bit less effort? All right, so. Uh, some clients ask me, Hey, Chris, uh, can I get leads on, uh, can I get leads, prospects and sales from Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn? My answer is this. If you're not doing it, then you won't get any. If you're not doing it right, you either won't get any or you get very little. All right. If you do it right, if you do it right, the probability of getting leads, prospects and clients is way, way, way higher. And if you want to build a digital business and make a predictable income each and every month, you need a system. Um, you know, Sudev, you're, you're in HR. You probably deal with systems and procedures and protocol, all right? We need to be able to, to project uh, in the future. But a lot of, um, you know, uh, professionals, a lot of business owners, uh, you know, we, they say that we can project, right? But how do you project uh, income. How do you project project how many sales you're gonna you're gonna get next month or uh, in two months or three months? To be able to predict income, uh, sales and revenue, you need a system. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna share with you 
is a three-part system that I've been using for so many years. Uh, and we've made changes and tweaks over the years because everything's always changing, right? And, you know, this is the same system uh, that has, that has uh, uh, you know, saved us and so many of our clients, uh, especially since the, uh, you know, roughly the start of uh, 2020, okay? Uh, I want to share this with you. Uh, this is one of our clients. Uh, they send me a WhatsApp. And, uh, you know, clients are always sending me comments and messages, right? Uh, on this particular one, they break down the incoming leads, you know, 64 leads in four days. And they never experienced this before. Let me, let me ask you a question, okay? Um, if you would like to get something like this, uh, would you want it, right? I mean, that's, that's the question that, that, uh, that we really need to answer tonight. Do you want to get more leads? And do you want to get those leads and, and transform them uh, into sales? So uh, not all 64 were great. Uh, of course, there are going to be some no, some uh, you know, that are wasting your time. But you know what? 64 leads in four days for them was absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, I'm going to share a little bit about myself, not too much. And I'll go through quickly on this part. Um, you know, cause some people say, Hey, Chris, you know, uh, you know, who are you? All right. So, uh, I'll start, I'll start this way. Um, if you look at the top left corner, that's me as a kid. Uh, my dad is American. My mom is Chinese and growing up was a bit hard because my, uh, my dad passed away when I was about seven years old. So my mother brought up my brother and I, and we went through some tough times growing up, got into a lot of trouble in school. Uh, in fact, didn't do too well at school. And we often didn't have enough money to buy the things that we wanted or to do the things that we wanted to do. Now, uh, I'm not complaining uh, because others, you know, back then and even now, they have a harder life uh, than me, right? But the, the thing is, when you're going through it, it's just not fun. So I managed to complete my, uh, we call it the O levels, that's like high school. And I passed my A levels, uh, that's like uh, junior college, right? My results were not good enough for a decent job. Okay, so I found a job at a factory. It was a polymer factory, and my job was to carry 25 kg, uh, 25 kilogram bags of powder and chemicals up and down uh, the two flights of the the factory. I did that for about eight months, and then I joined uh, the army. Okay, um, it was not something that I, you know, was like dreaming of or you know actually looking forward to, but I actually enjoyed it very much. So I I joined the army. Uh, I went in, and uh, after I, I finished my uh, recruit phase, which was about three months, uh, I signed a contract uh, because they sent me to officer school. Uh, I signed a contract for six years, and after I graduated from uh, officer school, um, uh, I, I went into a commando unit. So uh, I was a commando officer, and I learned many things that gave me the foundation for the rest of my life, you know, like discipline. Uh, determination, adapting and overcoming situations, you know, among other things. <clears throat> now, when my contract was up, I floated around for a little bit, and then I decided to move to San Diego. I went to San Diego because I had an uncle there who owned a ranch in a, in a tiny town called Ramona. Uh, so that's the gateway to the town. You see that in the top left corner is Ramona. Uh, the bottom left, you see that, that road. That's the road going to the town. Uh, and then you see all those buildings there? That's the town. All right. So he owned a ranch uh, in that town called, well, out on the outskirts of the town uh, of Ramona. So I became a farmer. Actually, I thought I was going to be a cowboy, um, but I wasn't a cowboy. All right. I was just a ranch hand. Uh, a ranch hand means um, the guy that carries everything and cleans everything. So, you know, up to this point, I was uh, a bad student, a factory worker, a soldier, and then now a ranch hand. Now, being a ranch hand, you know, I, I thought I was going to be a cowboy, but, you know, uh, that wasn't the case. And so being a ranch hand was something that I didn't really like. So I started looking for something else. And so my uncle introduced me to the guy that owned a company called Big O Tires, and I interviewed there. And I thought I would be a, a branch manager or at least supervisor, right? This is, this, I'm, I'm right about 24 years old. So... Uh, I was one of the guy, I got hired and I was one of the guys that changed tires and I kind of like that job. And if you look on the, the right side of your screen, uh, that's actually one of the stores. <clears throat> I like I liked the job until one day they said, um, you know what, 
uh, we need to advertise more. We need to advertise more as if the sign wasn't big enough, right? So the idea was to bring all the tires out from the storeroom uh, and display it on the roadside or the sidewalk. So we had to, I, you know, we were, we had to make 64 piles of four tires each. Okay. And uh, the guy whose job was to bring all of that out in the morning and bring all of them back at the end of the day, that was me. That was my job. After a few days of this, I was aching all over. Uh, and then I said to myself, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's when my eyes opened and when I made the decision uh, that I wasn't happy or satisfied. You see, if you ask yourself this question at, uh, about your business, about your profession, okay? If you're saying to yourself, you know what? I'm okay with the, my results today. If you, if you say to yourself, I'm okay with the results that I have today, you're not going to make any changes no matter what anybody says to you. You're, you're, you're just not going to put in the time, the money, and the effort, okay? But if you are unhappy with your current results, okay? If you're unhappy with your current income, if you're unhappy with your current situation, if you're unhappy with your current comfort level, then you will change, then you will improve. Because if you're, if you're comfortable, you're not going to change and you're not going to improve. So I looked around and what I did was I decided to go into sales. Uh, I went into sales accidentally and what uh, I ended up uh, selling uh, Toyotas uh, in San Diego for about three years. And I did very, very well. And in 1998, uh, that's when my entrepreneurship uh, journey started. Uh, I started my company in 1998. Uh, if you think about that, right, my company is 20, uh, 23 years old. I've been running my company for 23 years. Okay, so I started in the spare bedroom of my apartment in San Diego and I was cold calling and I was selling like a madman. Uh, four months later, I opened up my office and I started hiring. Uh, 23 years later, I've got offices in three countries, clients in 14 countries. In 2005, uh, when we went online, this is what my workstation looked like. I know it's messy. I'm a lot neater now. Okay, so we started, we started social media and online marketing for clients in 2007 because 2005, we were doing it for ourselves. And then our clients, you know, kind of found out we were doing that and they said, hey, can you do that for us as well? So we started doing that in 2007. When we started in 2007, we started getting clients from the UK, Russia, and the whole of the US. So I've been doing this. I've been doing this since 2007. And over the last... Uh, uh, 14, 15 years, it's changed so much, okay? And even though I say go online, uh, I need to give you a warning. Don't let go of other marketing channels, you know, like your, your cold calls, your, your referrals, you know, all the other things that we do, all right? So <laughs> what's actually working right now, all right? Uh, what is working right now and what can you do to... Uh, you know, get sales, uh, revenue, profits, and income. I'm going to share that with you uh, on, on this session tonight, all right? Just being online is not the answer. I mean, pretty much all of us are online, right? We post on Facebook, Instagram, and whatever, right? We run ads, um, but we're just not getting enough. And if you're running ads on Facebook, if you're getting leads from that, great, Okay. The three-part system I'm going to share with you, if you're already running ads, um, you got to do it the right way, all right? So I'll explain that in a bit. So whatever the economy, whatever the situation, you got to remember that buyers are always buying and sellers are always selling. And what we need to do is we need to adapt and revolutionize what we do online to attract uh, the buyers so we can sell them. Okay, and to do this right, we need to combine online and offline strategies. I, I wrote something down. Uh, I read this. It was very interesting to me a couple of days ago. In fact, let me just unshare my screen real quick. And, and, and I, I want to get some feedback from y'all. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so uh, this, is the, the, this is the participation part of our session tonight. Okay. So <clears throat> I, I, I read something uh, by a gentleman. Uh, uh, Oh, shoot, I forgot his name. Okay, anyway, so he, he, he asked this question, right, of a group of uh, uh, marketers. So 
I'm going to ask this question because we're a group of uh, uh, business owners and a group of professionals here uh, on this session this evening. All right. So I'm going to ask you a question and then you can type your answer in the chat or you can unmute yourself and just give me answers. All right. Okay. So we all know what hamburger is, right? We all, do we all know what a hamburger is? Yes. Just nod your head. Yes. Or just say yes or thumbs up. Okay. Uh, Ronald, your hand is up. Do you have a question or, okay. If you have a question, you can, you can just ask your question. Okay. Then, um, if I'm opening a burger stand, a hamburger stand or a hamburger restaurant, okay, what is the most important factor in opening this hamburger restaurant to be able to have success? Does anybody want to share their thoughts or answers on this? And I'll write down your answers too. So I'll ask the question again. If I'm opening a hamburger restaurant, what's the most important factor to have success? Just type your answer in the chat or unmute yourself and just shout out the, uh, shout out the answer. You're all scared to answer, huh? <laughs> Do we, are y'all, y'all can hear me, right? Yes. Okay. So what do we need for a hamburger restaurant uh, in order for that hamburger restaurant to have success? Jan, do you have any ideas? Sudev, do you have any, 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 any answer to that at all? Get more customers, more people to dine. Oh, okay. No problem, Sudev. Okay. Uh, okay. So we got some answers. And sometimes people say, uh, we need a secret sauce, right? For the hamburger, right? Secret sauce for the hamburger. Like there's some uh, hamburger chains that say, Oh, we need a secret sauce, right? Uh, and then, yeah, good burgers, okay? That means tasty, right? Uh, the quality of the burger, uh, the recipe, right? Has to be tasty and delicious, right? Uh, and then uh, Cecil says, getting more customers. Uh, Jan says, more people to dine. Yes, all of that is correct, but it's none of those, okay? Uh, you're all hitting a little bit on the, the right answer. The, the right answer is actually all of these don't matter if you don't have hungry people. Okay. So, and to me, that was very profound when I, when I read it uh, a few days ago. And what that really means is we have to connect with hungry people in order to market to them. Okay. You see, Whatever your product or service is, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever your product or service is, we always think, okay, the price has to be good. We have to give this and, and all those things, right? But what we really forget is that whatever your product or service is, we have to put it in front of the right people, right? We have to put it in front of the right people. And that's what we're focusing on uh, tonight, okay? Let me get uh, the slides back up. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So when we do that, okay, we're not talking about selling. We're talking about marketing. And we must increase our marketing efforts. Uh, you don't need to answer this out loud or, you know, type in the chat. Uh, welcome back, Sudef. So... I want to ask you this question. Just answer in your, in your head, all right? Don't answer out loud. Uh, who's been doing okay before COVID-19, right? I think most of us were kind of doing okay. Uh, this hit all of us uh, really, really hard, right? Now, we as a company last year, uh, you know, we lost several big deals in March, uh, April, and May. But instead of crying and panicking and stressing too much, um, you know, we focus on marketing to the right target. We focus on marketing to the right target. We focus on marketing to the right hungry people. And we didn't just rely on one or two marketing streams. 
um, you know, we focus on several, both online and offline. All right. So we make sales. Uh, one of the rules that I have that we try to, that we, that we really try to follow every single day is that we must make at least one sale a day. And, you know, for some, some of us, one sale a day is not uh, possible, uh, uh, you know, maybe because of the, the sales process or the, the, you know, the type of purchase, whatever it is. All right. We, we have to ship ourselves. You see, I, I asked y'all, it wasn't a trick question, but I asked y'all to put type in what, uh, what is it you do and where you're from, right? So we have to think of, us, of ourselves as marketers and sellers, okay? Uh, so uh, Jan is in tourism. Jan is actually a marketer and seller, and his product and service happens to be uh, uh, in the tourism industry. You know, I talked to so many business owners uh, especially over the last several months, um, the ones that do not do well, you know, they say things like, uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, a potential client was, uh, was she, uh, she was an executive chef and then she got retrenched last year. And then she, you know, went through a couple of things and then she ended up selling uh, marinated meat from her home. And the sales were little to none. Little to none, uh, food business, right? Um, delivery, uh, uh, sending in, uh, you know, the frozen uh, styrofoam, right? So I, and her food was actually pretty nice, okay? Uh, I advised her to focus on marketing. Um, and she started, I think, with chicken, if I recall. And I said, you know, focus on the marketing. But no, she said, I want to expand my range. So you're not selling the chicken, so you want to expand your range to the lamb, the beef, and whatnot, right? So she started, she started out with the chicken, wasn't doing well, not because the chicken was not tasty, but because she couldn't market and sell. And then she added lamb, and she spent a lot of money on, on you know, R&D and testing recipes and all those things, which comes back to our hamburger story, right? It's not the secret sauce. It's not the... Uh, you know, making sure, I mean, of course, you have to make sure it's delicious because people don't want to eat, uh, you know, crappy burgers, right? So she added lamb and she couldn't sell those. Okay. And then she increased her range to include beef. She couldn't sell the chicken. She couldn't sell the lamb. And she said, and her idea was, let's add beef to it. And I, I kept telling her, no, focus on selling the chicken. Focus on selling the chicken. If you want to add lamb, let's sell the chicken first. Okay. So she, now she was never a client, yeah? I, I have to explain that, all right? Uh, I was advising her, got a market, got a market. And she goes, no, I want to expand my range, all right? So she added beef, uh, which was uh, pricey already, right? And then uh, she wasn't selling the beef. And her solution was, I'm going to add Wagyu beef now. So she spent even more money on R&D and recipes. And so now she has a range of, lamb, chicken, beef, and wagyu beef, and still cannot, uh, you know, she kill, still cannot sell those. So you've got to focus on marketing and selling. I would rather that you just have one product, uh, chicken, and focus on the marketing and selling of the chicken, establish that, get some revenue coming in, then add the other things, all right? Now, the fundamentals in your sales funnel, let's talk about a sales funnel. Of course, we start with the product, okay? And we all believe, we all believe that our product is high quality, right? Um, you need to make sure that you are, because everybody says that uh, uh, everybody says that product is high quality, isn't it? In any industry, your competitors, even though you know for a fact that your competitors' products are the worst in the industry, if you ask them, "Hey, um, how's the quality of your product?" Oh, it's the best. Everybody will say, we're the best, right? Okay, so you need to make sure your product is of an acceptable quality, all right? Uh, the next fundamental in your uh, sales funnel is your posts, your ads, and your traffic. And I'll, I'll explain all, uh, uh, you know, what all this means. Uh, here's a very important, vital component, the copywriting. <clears throat> the copywriting has to be persuasive. All right. 
You cannot just say, hey, I got the best chicken. I got the best hamburger. You must be persuasive in talking to the people that is your target market. All right. Then you've got to have your sales process. It, you cannot just wing it and you cannot like, you know, play by ear. Then you've got to have a CTA. Does anybody know what a CTA is? Okay. If you know what a CTA is, type, in, type it into the chat. What is CTA? Anybody know? CTA means the, the call to action. That means what are you asking this prospect to do in order to advance to the next step? Then we get into the follow-up. Follow-up is a topic, uh, it's a skill just by itself. All right? Um, we must, we must, we must follow up. And I'll explain why in a bit. Okay? Now, <clears throat> we have all these platforms for traffic. Uh, even 10 years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, if you're a slightly older person, uh, you know, before Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all these things, right? How did we find leads? How did we find prospects? How did we, how did we get sales? You know, uh, being online and, and <clears throat> all this social media, the Facebook, the LinkedIn, is supposed to make it easier for us to get leads and prospects. But a lot of us are banging our head on the wall thinking, how come I cannot get a lead? How come I cannot get a client, right? So these are all, and every platform that you see up there is a little bit different. It has its own characteristic, okay? Now we have the different contact methods. Before, before what did we have? We had the phone, we had the fax, maybe we had email. Uh, definitely we had a fax machine, right? Nowadays we have Facebook Messenger, we have email, we have phone, we have SMS, we have uh, 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 WhatsApp, WeChat, Line, Viber. You know, we have all these things that you know a potential customer can can get in touch with us. You know, the website, the landing page, uh, QR code. Um, you need to learn how to use QR codes because we're we're so used to using QR codes nowadays, right? Okay, and I'm going to show an example of a QR code later. Okay. Now, what are the problems and the challenges that we have? The number one problem that I hear from our clients before we help them is, you know, when, when we talk about social media, when we talk about uh, online platforms, we talk about creating content, okay? Creating content is already difficult, but creating content consistently every single day. And if you're not posting every single day, you must start posting every single day. You must. You, you cannot just post once a week or whenever you, you feel like it. That is a task and a project and a skill by itself. Okay? You must create content consistently. And you must be able to get that content out. Then you have ROI. ROI means your return on investment. Um, another term is uh, ROAS, return on ad spend. If you have used Facebook ads and you never got a client, you actually have a negative ROI and you have a negative uh, return on ad spend. All right. When we take our clients, we, we, take, we take the, R, uh, the ROAS and for every dollar that you spend on Facebook, we, 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 our aim is to get every dollar that you spend on Facebook to three to seven to nine times okay that's the return that you should be getting okay <clears throat> for those of you that have interacted with me you will find that i answer extremely extremely quickly i officially say i will respond within 24 hours all right uh in fact uh for those of you that have uh, attended my sessions before i will tell you that um uh, you know, we send out the recording within 24 hours, but usually we send it out within the same day. Okay. Uh, you know, I respond to messages very, very quickly. Okay. The next part is we don't know how to be persuasive. We don't know how to convince the client to buy. And the last one is 
we don't know how to follow up. You know, we don't know how to follow up. We don't know when to follow up. We don't know. Um, we don't know if we're following up the right way. In fact, I, I read a statistic that 48%, and I'll include business owners, entrepreneurs, salespeople. Um, I'm talking about revenue generators, people in a sales role. 48% of people in a sales role do not even follow up one time. Okay? Now, why do we need to do all these things? We need to do all these things because of the different kinds of buyers and the characteristics. Let me, let me ask you a question, okay? Have you ever seen something online and you said, this is great, I want to buy it, and then you buy it right away? We've all done that, right? And then you've also had this situation where you look at something online and then you go, oh, I want to buy that. I'll come back to it, and then you forget, right? Or maybe you look at something, you go, hey, you know what? That looks interesting. Maybe I want to take a look at it. Uh, I want to buy it next week or maybe early next month. Or the longer term is like, I think I'll be ready to, to use uh, the services of this guy or this company uh, in like maybe three months or six months. If you don't capture their information, okay, immediately, they're not going to remember you next week. They're not going to remember you today. Okay, they're not going to remember you next week. They're not going to remember you next month. They're sure as heck not going to remember you in three months or six months. Have you ever had a situation, okay, where you saw on your Facebook and you scroll and then you go, oh, I want to buy that. I'll come back to it. And then you forgot the name of the company. You forgot the actual name of the product. And then you try searching for it. And then you found something similar. And then you go, okay, I'll go with that. That means this one got your interest, but you bought from somebody else, okay? Then we all, we all know this. Uh, repeat and referrals are the easiest sales that we can make. But do we ever go back to our clients and say, hey, do you want to buy again? Do we, uh, do, we, do we ask for referrals? We hardly ever do that, okay? Now, what is your product and service? We need to answer these questions. Because that's really where it starts. I, I, I'm not going to list out uh, everything here because it's, it's very self-explanatory. What I will mention is two things, okay? The first is who is it for? Your product, your service, who is it specifically for? Is it for male, female, young, old, live in this geography, live in this country, uh, have this requirement, are, uh, uh, they have this job, do they have children? Do they need to take care of the children? Who is it for? Okay. Then, what problem does your product or service solve? <clears throat> okay. It's not, uh, you know, a problem problem. It might be a situation they're experiencing or a headache that they have. You got to know what does, what, what problem does your product or service solve? And then you got to answer the question, why should somebody buy from you? Why should somebody buy from you? Okay. I'm going to show you uh, our typical funnel lead flow. And you might go, wow, you know, that looks uh, complicated. It, it can look complicated, but it's actually uh, a very simple process. And I'm going to show you how we implemented it for a company. Okay. I'm going to show you exactly what we did for a company. Okay. And if you look over here, this is one of our actual clients. Uh, if you look on the left side of the screen, you know, those little circles, the color circles uh, with the Facebook ad, Facebook post, that's the intake. That's how we got them to go to a sales video or to go to a lead form to request for information. So it was a very impulse uh, to get them to that point. And um, we were able to capture the information. Why do we want to capture the information? Because some people... Some prospects do not take action and buy right away. They might buy, remember, tomorrow or next week or next month or in three months. We capture the information so that we can keep in touch with them. Okay? So this is, this is uh, an actual funnel that we, that, we, that we did for a client. And I'll show you the results later. Okay? Now, there's three basic steps uh, in your funnel. Uh, it's a, it, I'm going to share... Uh, a very simple 
and straightforward uh, process with you. Okay, there's three basic components. On the left, you have what's called the traffic, uh, or actually can be called the intake. Uh, so what does that mean? It means it's the uh, the Facebook post, <laughs> the Facebook ad, or the Instagram, whatever it is, it's the intake, all right, that catches their eye and says to them, hey, does this look interesting to you? If it does, click here and take the next step. So the next step is the filter, is where we filter out uh, who we want and who we don't want, right? And the filter is where is, is, is what we call the collection point. The collection point, we collect the name and minimum, the name and the email. Uh, I prefer to collect name, email, and phone number, okay? The collection point, and you've heard this term before, the collection point is the landing page, right? The landing page is where you collect information and you collect data. Then the money part that you see on your right side of the screen is not the money yet. Yes, you get the money if they buy right away. But do you know, if you do not have a landing page, if you do not have a mechanism to collect name, email, and phone number, you're losing money. You're, you're throwing money away because people are, are, are looking at your ad, looking at your post, and they don't want to take action right away, and you've lost them. Okay. Now, to get to the, to the money, it's what we call the conversion. The conversion is where you follow up, where you nurture, where you educate, where you build relationship, and that's how you convert them into a client. This process can take as quick as a few minutes or it can take as long as a few weeks to a few months. Okay. Now let's talk about the, the ad uh, or the post creatives, the, uh, the intake. All right. I'm not going to go through every single line here. All right. What you need to do is you need to think what is the headline. I'll, I'll highlight a couple things. What is the headline? The headline has to capture their attention because, you know, when we scroll on Facebook, most of us do it on our phone, right? Some on the computer, you scroll. This is how quickly you scroll your, your Facebook, isn't it? Just like that, right? Uh, something will pop out something will pop out, the headline will pop out and say, hey, that looks interesting, All right? The headline has to catch their attention. It has to highlight the problem or their pain, okay? Then you go through, you go through the steps. An example would be something like this, all right? <clears throat> you can even use video, okay? You can use, uh, Yan. Uh, the, the one in the top center looks familiar, right? Yeah, okay. Um, these are all clients, okay, or students. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the handsome young man on the, on the left side and the bottom middle, um, in case you didn't realize, that is me, all right? Uh, so you can use your own videos to capture attention, okay? So you can use videos, you can use uh, content, you can use pictures, okay? Just like that, right? So that's how, that's how you create a post. So you have all these things that you can do. And, you know, for those of you that, are, uh, that follow me uh, on Facebook uh, or like my uh, official uh, company page or maybe you're friends with me uh, personally on, on Facebook, you'll see that I post every single day. Every single day. I promise you we post every single day. Okay? Some you know, has in, some of the posts have engagements, some do not, but it's okay. You must post every day because what we're doing is we're, we're being consistent, okay? Let me ask you this question and you can answer me yes or no. Just type yes or no in the chat, all right? Um, here's the question. The question is, I'm going to ask you, do you, Yan, Joe, Jane, Ash, Sudev, do you post every day? If you post every single day, type in yes in the chat. If the answer is no, type in no. We're not going to hold it against you. Okay? The one change, for those of you that say no, the number one change that you have to make is that you must freaking post every day. 
you must post every day. But you know what's the hardest part about posting every day? The hardest part about posting every day is getting that content, isn't it? Right? I, I see Maria like, yeah, content is the hardest. Oh, you know, I create content every day. Okay? And that's why I have so much gray hair. All right? No, I'm just kidding. My gray hair started when I was 25. Okay. So we, we must post every day. Ah, okay, then. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll share this very quickly, okay? Uh, yes, it does take time. I post, I don't just post once a day. I actually post three times a day on 12 different uh, profiles, platforms, okay? Uh, I try to uh, cross over content. That means I don't have to create 12 pieces of content uh, each time, okay? I try to, if, if let's say I post example twice a day, uh, actually, let me give you a more realistic example. We post three times a day. It doesn't, uh, theoretically, what that means is with 12, we would have to write 36 pieces of content, right? But we try not to because you can go crazy doing that. What I do is I write all my content in one day. It takes me about two hours to write 30 days of content for three different posts, okay? So what that means is uh, 90 posts is done in one day. Uh, let me rephrase it. 90 posts is done in two hours. I pick one day a month and I schedule out two hours and I get it done. But here's a little trick. I have a book here. I'll, I'll, let's see if I can get the right one. Okay. I have a book here. Whenever I come across ideas, I write it down. I write, I write, I write it down. I don't just do it all at once. I write everything down. And then when it comes to that day that I'm supposed to do the content, I look through my book and I go, oh, that's good. And then I write the content. That's how I get it done in two hours. Does that make sense? Maria, does that help you a little bit? Yeah? Okay. So when you come across things, you write it down in a book and you collect it. Um, I have books of those. Okay. I can tell you that I have no shortage, uh, a shortage of content. Um, what I will tell you also is do not copy. Do not copy content. All right. I'll share a little secret with you. Sometimes <clears throat> I look at my posts from two years ago and I just collect all those posts from two years ago and I reuse it for this month. Nobody will know. Nobody will know. It's your content. Look at what you did two years ago and use it again this month. Okay. And you, you can... Um, the, the word that we use is, is it doesn't sound good. It's called re, regurgitating a content. That's an actual term, okay? But I don't like the name of that. What, what, what I like to use is use back your old stuff. Maybe change a little bit and, and use it again this month. I'll tell you this. <clears throat> um, there was a time two years ago where I just repeated content every month or I alternate Okay, let's say January, I put all this content. Uh, February, I put this content. March, I put this content. April, I take back uh, January and I use it again. Nobody's going to know. Okay? I hope, uh, Tien, uh, Maria, th th those two little ideas help you out just a little bit. Yeah? Okay? So, let's go into the landing page. The landing page is the core of your funnel. It's the engine. All right? The landing page is where uh, it has a specific purpose, okay? It has a specific purpose where you collect information, where you tell the person on that page, this is what I want you to do. What I want you to do is I want you to give me your name, your email, your phone number, okay? And then you tell them on the landing page, this is what's going to happen next, all right? In fact, in, in most of my communication, uh, I will tell some, I, uh, I, will, I will always say this, <clears throat> I will call you or somebody will call you within the next 24 to 48 hours. Jan, let me ask you this question. It's a very dangerous question, yeah? If I say that I will call you within two hours, do I call you within two hours? Just nod your head, yes, yes or no. If yes. I tell you I'll call you within 24 hours, do I call within 24 hours? 
Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Yan. I'll, I'll pay you for that later. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, if I tell you when you give me your name, your email, your phone number, and I'm going to call you, I will call you. Okay, that's what most of us are lacking. We're lacking in that. We think that online is automatic. It does all the work for us. No, I'm telling you it doesn't. You still have to do the work. I'm going to show you some landing page examples that we use uh, and, we, and we do for our clients. Okay? So uh, each one of these is a landing page. A landing page can be complex or it can be simple. Uh, I'm going to send all of you an email with the YouTube link of this recording. I'm going to, to give you the platform that I use for my landing pages. Okay? Uh, if you decide to use um, my suggestion, you'll actually get a 30-day trial for free. And then after that, if you choose to continue, it's 15 US dollars a month. Uh, 15 US dollars a month might sound like a lot. It's about 60 ringgit. Uh, it would be uh, about 70, 75, uh, 750 pesos a month, about, all right? I will tell you that get response I've been using for about three years and I'm paying them 15 US dollars a month to, to do my emails, my autoresponders, my sales pages, my landing pages, okay, my reminders for 15 US dollars a month. It's a fantastic price because we started using um, a service called Infusionsoft in 2006. In, uh, Infusionsoft is a similar company. It's actually one of the first companies that came up with all these things. Uh, I was paying 300 US dollars a month, actually 299, 299 US dollars a month since 2006 until 2018. That means I was paying this company 300 US dollars a month every single month for 12 years. Why do I look stupid? Don't answer that, okay? I might look stupid, but I'm not. So the question is, why would I pay 300 uh, US dollars to a company every single month for 12 years? Because it worked, okay? And what happened was, the competitors to this company figured out how to do it and they charge way, way less. Uh, that company charges a lot less now. But one of the ones that, uh, that was very, very comparable is this company that we're paying 15 US dollars a month to now. And I've been paying them every month for three years. Okay. So think about this. I paid 300 US dollars a month for 12 years. And I continued doing it and I did it every month for 12 years. And I have a competitor that was at 15 USD and we're paying them for the last three years. This is how we create all of, all of the things that we do and we're able to do it for 15 US dollars a month. Okay. Here's a couple more examples. Okay. Very, very simple. Very simple to use. I'll, I'll send that, uh, that link out to you uh, within the next 24 hours. All right. Now, on the landing page, you got to tell them what you wanted to do and try to tell them maximum of one or two things. Go to a store and buy. Uh, go to the e-commerce website. Go to an event. Uh, download information. Uh, request for a phone call. Set an appointment. Whatever it is. All right? But you must get, you must get minimum the name and the email. When we do it, we always get name, email, phone number so that we can call because we tell them we will call within 24 to 48 hours. Okay. Because when you call, if you don't tell them you're going to call, you go, hi, uh, John, this is Chris. And you never want to hear who that's like, Ooh, depressing. When you call, you now tell them, hey, this is Chris. You went on, on our landing page. You filled out your name, your email, your phone number, and you requested this information. And we said that we're going to call you within 24 to 48 hours. So I'm calling you now. And then they will go, oh, that's a very different reaction to who? Right? Okay. Then we go into the next step. 
The next step is phone, WhatsApp, email, uh, phone call, right? Uh, no more fax, right? It used to be fax before, before. Okay, so the next step is you follow up to get them to become a customer. Okay, you follow up, you educate, uh, you, you create a relationship, you nurture them, you close it. How do you do this? <clears throat> you do this with an email series. You do this with uh, a systematic follow-up system, whether it's by WhatsApp or by phone or by Viber or Facebook Messenger, whatever is uh, 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 more used in a particular country. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, several months ago, everyone was saying, oh, we got to get, get away from WhatsApp. Go to Signal and Telegram, right? Remember? Remember a few months ago? Hey, let me ask you this. Are you using Telegram or Signal or are you using WhatsApp? Back We're still what? using WhatsApp. Back to WhatsApp, correct? Yeah. In uh, Ma Maria, you're from Philippines, correct? Is that right? I think so. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, here's what I know in the Philippines. People do use WhatsApp, but most people in Philippines will use Viber or Facebook Messenger, correct? Correct. Right. Yes. So when I communicate with clients in, in Philippines, guess what I use? Viber. Viber, correct. Right. And I correct. Right. Because I gotta know what you use, isn't it? Yeah, right? That's true. That's right. The, the the problem that all of us have, okay, if let's say we use WhatsApp, we expect everyone to have WhatsApp. I've got WhatsApp, Line, Viber, WeChat, uh, Signal, Telegram on my phone. Because I will find out. I will find out what you prefer. If you tell me, okay, if you tell me you prefer WhatsApp, I will use WhatsApp. If you tell me you prefer email, I will use email. If you prefer that you use Viber, I will use Viber. You see, for, for our prospects in the Philippines, I don't search on them for, in WhatsApp first. I search for them in Viber first because <laughs> 70 to 80% of the time, they will be there. Correct, Maria? That's right. You're correct. Right? So <laughs> yes. we, we must know who our client is. Th does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? I think it does, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have so many different kinds of uh, 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 platforms. Okay. Um, we got to know. Okay. And even if they use WhatsApp, uh, even if they use WhatsApp, okay, uh, we got to know what is their preferred form of communication. We have to know. So we find all that out. Uh, when we when we get to know the prospect, when we get to know the prospect, then we will find out what mode they prefer, what kind of communication they prefer, what kind of information they need in order for them to proceed to say yes. Okay. Okay. So that's for the next step and the follow up. Now let me share this with you. We have a client in uh, financial education. Uh, we got them as a client in 2019. Uh, in 2019, they've been around for about four years, okay, uh, not doing well at all, okay. This is the marketing and sales funnel we created for them. We actually did a little bit more because we trained their sales team in how to talk to clients, how to present, how to be persuasive, um, how to uh, handle the objections, how to close and how to follow up. We taught them how to do this at every point in the funnel. If you look at the funnel, at every point, uh, there needs to be some kind of contact, okay? So this is, the, this is the marketing and sales funnel that we created for them, the exact funnel. So up to 2019, they had very few leads, very few prospects, and of the few uh, prospects and leads that they have, they only have a 10% closing ratio. 10%! That means they talk to 10 people, they only close one. And because of this, they only managed to generate about 10,000 plus minus, yeah, 10,000 in revenue every single month. So it was not good at all. So I asked the owner, I asked him these, uh, these questions, okay? And I want, I want to ask you these questions as well. This is what I asked him. I said, uh, do you want, do you really, really want better results and more income? Okay? If the answer is yes, then you must realize this. If the answer is yes, uh, if you say that you want better results and better income, then you got to ask yourself these questions. Do I have the right skills? Do I have the right techniques? 
am I taking the right action every single day? And then he agreed with me. He said, you know what, Chris, you're right. And so we took this <clears throat> and we implemented it. And, you know, in three weeks, in three weeks, what happened was they went from a 10%, uh, um, you know, this, these are the messages he sent to me, okay? Um, uh, almost immediately, well, after three weeks, uh, slightly over three weeks, they went from a 10% closing ratio uh, to uh, 75%. And then when, um, you know, they were doing about 10,000 a month revenue, they went from 10,000 a month to 130,000 a month. 130,000 a month multiplied by 12 months is more than a million. We turned them into a million dollar revenue company from 10,000 a month. Okay. And then when 2020 started, they should have been on track to double that. But because of COVID, they were on track to equal 2019. Maybe, maybe uh, on track to do a little bit better. Uh, they ended up doing a little bit better in 2020 than they did in 2019. In 2021, they are, they are on track to do better than 2020, okay? The only reason they were able to do this is because of their lead generation and getting the right kinds of leads for them and to bring them into a funnel to get the people to give their name, their email, their phone number so that the sales team could call them within 24 hours, have a conversation, have follow-up, become more persuasive, and close the freaking deal. The closing ratio is 75 to 85% with 130,000 plus minus revenue a month. Now, here's my question to you. What if you experience something like this? Am I telling you that you're going to go from 1,000 revenue, 5,000 revenue, 10,000 revenue to a million dollar revenue a year? I cannot promise you that. Okay. What I can promise you is that whatever revenue you have right now, whether you're happy with the revenue that you have or you're not happy with the revenue that you have, I can promise you this, whatever your revenue is right now, I can get it higher for you. Um, Maria, you'll be interested to know this. There's a development company in the Philippines, I won't mention where. Um, I, I did a training program and a marketing uh, process with them last year. Uh, without giving out too much information, it's a, it's a luxury development. Okay. Uh, and, and actually everybody would be interested to know this. It's a luxury development, uh, five residential towers, two, uh, two office towers. Okay. They have about 50 salespeople. When, uh, Philippines went into lockdown, I believe it was in, uh, uh, sometime in late February, February, early March, if I remember. Okay. Uh, they contacted us in April. We created everything for them. We started in May, May of last year. Uh, we launched everything from June to December last year. They sold more units in June to December of 2020 than they did in 2019. Okay. Because they went almost completely online and because they went almost completely online, they were able to get clients in New Zealand, Australia, UK, Germany, France, uh, and in the US, instead of only in the Philippines or in, in the general area. Okay. What if we were able to do something like that for you? What if whatever your product or service is, people come to you and say, hey, Chris, what is this? And then you have a conversation. So whatever income you have right now, whatever revenue you have right now, I don't care what it is. I know I can get it higher for you. If you think that you're happy with your current level of income or revenue, I don't want to talk to you because you're happy with that. <clears throat> if you're not happy with it, then we should have a conversation. Okay. Now, here's my offer. And I'll take five minutes, 10 minutes max to tell you what my offer is. All right. We're going to create something similar to what you see on the screen for you. We're going to create an efficient, effective, and profitable sales and digital funnel for you. From start to finish, it's going to be customized exactly for you, your product, and your service. I'll tell you who we're working on right now. Uh, we just completed uh, for an uh, interior designer. We just completed for an independent rep of a network marketing company. Okay. 
And these are the kinds of industries that we can do it with. We've done it for uh, uh, real estate, uh, insurance, uh, you know, all kinds of companies. We can get the leads coming in. All right. You see, from start to finish, it's going to be customized exactly for you. So we'll get the leads coming in. We filter them through uh, the process and we get them through several steps to convert them into buyers. Is this an automatic system that will take someone and create a buyer at the end? No, I'm telling you it's not. It will take work on your part, okay, in the front end, in creating the, uh, uh, the landing page. We'll create it together with you, but you have to do the work once they're qualified because you're gonna have to call them, you're gonna have to message them, you're gonna have to sell to them. It's not an automated, magical cash machine where it just spits out money. The gurus say, oh, we create this for you. It spits up money. BS. All right. What we'll create for you is a hardworking lead generation and selling process where you also need to put in the work. But I can tell you this. It's going to be a lot easier than what you have now. And it's going to be so much easier than what you're doing now. Okay. If you're doing okay now, you're going to do even more. Now, I will say this again. If you're happy with your current income and your current results, we don't need to talk. If you're unhappy with your current income and your current results and you want more, then we need to have a conversation. All right? So you have a few options. The few options that you have are you can continue doing what you're doing, you know, do nothing, change nothing, continue getting current results and maybe it goes down. I've taught you how to do this tonight. Okay. Uh, I'm telling you, <clears throat> this is the exact process that you need. You can do it yourself. I'll give you the resources. I'll give you the tools, but it's going to take you two months or three months or six months of, you know, trying to implement it. Um, you know, you're going to pay a little bit of money. You're going to go through trial and error. You're going to go through effort and then you're going to hope it works. And then if it works, great. If it doesn't work, you've got to, you've got to re, redo it again. Or you can let me do it for you. And within two weeks, you'll have a complete sales system and a digital funnel that will re be ready to transform your sales results. Okay. Let me, let me give you another option. You can go to one of the other gurus. Yeah. Okay. And you can learn how to do it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just ridiculous to me. You can learn how to do it in three days. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You, you, you can learn how to do it in three days and you can pay uh, 2,400, 2,500 ringgit, which is about, right about 600 US or you, uh, that would be uh, 30,000 pesos. Okay. So you can learn how to do it in three days and then you go and do trial and error on your own. You can do that, all right? Uh, if you want to know uh, how to sign up for this class, you know, go and find out on your, on your own, all right? The problem is you learn on your own. you got nobody guiding you. You're going to make mistakes, and you're going to pay a lot, all right? This is what we do for you. Uh, some of you said that uh, your problem creating the content, right? We'll create the formula for the content. We'll create the formula for your content. And then, not only that, We'll take that formula and make content for you for 30 days. All right. We will do the Facebook ads for you, the copywriting, and we'll choose the graphic. And uh, if we do a video, we'll give you a video script so that you do the video. We're not going to do the video. Okay. Cause there's no point having this good looking young man do the video for you when you are the face of the product. All right. But we'll write the script for you. We'll write the script for you and we'll coach you on how to do your video. Okay. Most people go, uh, my name is Chris and blah, blah. no, that's not, that's not how you do it. Okay. Then the landing page will do it for you. The autoresponders will do it for you. Uh, the messaging script, the calling script will, will write it for you. Your, your sales presentation. Okay. Your sales presentation will practice it together on zoom one on one with me. Okay. We'll also do the follow-up and the closing script. We're going to set you up with a complete system for you to generate leads, qualify your prospects, and turn them into clients, into sales, into revenue, and into profits. And I seriously do not care 
what your product, not that I don't care what your product or service is. What I mean by that is we can take whatever you're selling and we can turn it into being profitable for you. I promise you. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, this is an example. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, I think this is the, the preview of the video. You know, uh, have you seen, or, or maybe you do your videos, you, you see videos of people doing it, they're standing there like that, and then, you know, nothing, nothing comes out. But when we do videos, we're going to teach you how to grab attention. We're going to teach, we're going to do it for you on how to write the persuasive copy. Okay? If you want to have this kind of results, then we need to have a conversation. Okay? And not just, you know, one or two isolated examples. All right? It's, you know, all kinds of different industries. Uh, in fact, uh, on this one, uh, since we started, uh, sales have increased by four times. Sales increased by 400%. And then my answer to them is, great. Let's try to get better results for you in the coming months. All right? Now, we're almost at the end of our uh, session, and I want to share a couple final thoughts, uh, you know, of our session uh, for this evening. <clears throat> answer every message, answer every phone call, answer every email as promptly as you can. And I have to apologize to you uh, because the last WhatsApp message that you sent me, I forgot to answer it. And I know that I forgot to answer it because it happens so seldom. Okay. Uh, Jan, have I, ever, have I ever taken longer than one hour to answer uh, any message from you? Uh, no. Okay. Answer promptly. So, and I will answer that. Okay. Uh, that one totally slipped my mind. So, so sorry about that one. Uh, that just goes to show that I, I, we're all human beings. All right. Um, but answer promptly. All right. Have you ever uh, called someone like a prospect or somebody, right? Like a client, and then they didn't take your, uh, you, they missed your call and then they never call you back. Have you ever done that? Have you ever missed a call and then you look at, oh, I don't know this number and then you never call back. Okay. If I get a missed call, I always call back. Okay. Because I want people to call me back. Don't just rely on one. Don't rely on one avenue of getting leads. Don't just rely on one meeting, one client, uh, one deal. Because if that one deal falls through, you're done. You must be working on deals all the time. All right? My last final thought of the session is that learn and implement. There's so many things that we learn and we learn and we learn and we learn and we never implement. I, I, I know some people that I talk to, they go for this class, they go for this class, they go for this class, they go for class after class after class after class, right? And then I ask them, hey, so did you implement any of that? No, 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 I'm still learning. It's like, you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, it's 2021, okay? We are, today is the... Uh, 23rd uh most of us will be the 23rd of june okay in fact i'm pretty sure it's the 23rd of june in about one more week plus or minus seven days we're going to be at the end of june at the end of june the next day is the first of july the first of july is the start of the second half of 2021 we have six more months from the first of july we have half a year in 2021. If you are unhappy, and forget about lockdown, quarantine, and all that stuff. Uh, sorry, I'm not saying forget about that. I'm not saying if it's lockdown, go outside. All right? Um, I'm sorry, Tin. Um, oh, it happens to you. Okay, we'll, we'll cover that in a bit. I think you're talking about the people don't answer you back or whatever, right? See, whether it's lockdown, whether it's quarantine, you must adapt your business. Okay? Um, if we, if we sat down and had a conversation, I'm a hundred percent sure we can figure something out for your business. We can figure out, and I will, I will create something for you 
that will get leads and prospects coming in, uh, collect their information, and you have conversations with them. Okay. Uh, I've come to the end of our session. Uh, we'll get into the Q and A. Before we get into the Q and A, I'm gonna I'm going to put this on the screen. Uh, earlier, I talked about uh, QR code, right? The QR code that you see on your screen, if you want to send me a WhatsApp, okay, if you want to send me a WhatsApp, uh, you can scan that and you'll send a WhatsApp to me directly, okay? I'm also going to put this uh, in a minute into the chat, uh, the WhatsApp link, you know, the XOK1PD. I'm going to take that and I'll put it in the link so you can click on that to send me a WhatsApp and I'll explain what it is. For those of you that use Viber, Maria, for those of you who use Viber, look for my number. Yeah. Uh, yeah. it's the six zero one zero five nine one eight thousand. Okay, I think I think we've connected on Viber already, right? Or no? Yeah, we connected already by Viber. Okay, okay, awesome. So, uh, we have these two numbers. Uh, if you want to send me a WhatsApp, you can use that QR code. You can use that link. Uh, if you want to wait for the email uh, that I will send out within twenty four hours, I will send it out, and you can reply to that as well. Okay, uh, here's what I will say. Uh, everyone on this session, I believe I have your phone number. I think so. Okay, uh, I will give you a call within the next. Listen, uh, yeah. Um I will give a call to everybody within the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, and I will ask you, do you want to have a conversation on us setting up a proper system of generating leads? and converting converting them into clients the answer is very simple the answer is either yes or no okay uh and i'll go over uh, your customized process uh in detail i will tell you that it's actually a little bit less than you think because i also want something on the back end that means we also get paid on your on the production that means we get paid also uh i mean we have set up so i'll cover that uh, you know, the, the costing and everything uh, in our individual conversations. But we also want to get paid on when we set up the system and it works. And I think that's fair, isn't it? Right? Because I don't know of any other marketing agency or company that does that. They want you to pay everything up front and then they don't care if you make it or not. I care if you make it. Because if you're giving me a percentage of the revenue, I freaking want to make sure that I get that and I want to make sure that you get you get clients. OK, so <clears throat> before we get into the uh, uh, the Q&A, uh, let's see, before we get into our Q&A, uh, let me unshare the screen and let me get this. Uh, just bear with me one quick second. I'll put this in the, uh, this would be the WhatsApp link. Okay, and then I'll put my numbers here if you want to keep them. Okay, let's do this. Do we have any questions from, uh, from anybody? While you're thinking of questions, can I ask everyone a favor? Put your video on. I'd like to take a, a group picture. Would that be okay? Awesome. Ash, I've never seen your face, I think. Anne, are you still there? Adrian, Adrian, would you mind joining us on video? Would that be okay? See, so you look different with glasses. Okay, I'll just take a quick picture. Everybody look serious. Look as serious as Tien, yeah? On the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, let me do this. Uh, let's try this. I forgot to get this out earlier. Let's try this. Everybody give, uh, let me get this set up. Let me have everyone give a great big smile. And I'm going to smile too. In fact, I'm going to give a double smile on the count of three. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, so do we have any questions? Oh, no problem, Adrian. Okay. 
Uh, do we have any questions on the session that we did uh, for this evening? We can cover, uh, let's see, I, I have my time uh, for another five or 10 minutes. If, if you need to leave, that's okay. In fact, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to stop the recording. And I'm going to stop uh, Chris, the... Uh, Chris, 